Get some tea, get a pen, get a piece of paper because it's quick, down and dirty, very, very simple. And here we go, MSPE. Welcome back, welcome back, Dream Team. So, as I mentioned last video, I'm gonna talk about MSP interviews. I'll put right here what MSPE means and give a little bit more um, description of what it entails. So as I say, MSPE is not a school ultimate recommendation letter. However, it can be applied that way depending on how it's read. But basically what it does is it breaks down year from year what you've done as a student, your grades, your standardized test scores or percentiles, however it's broken down. It gives descriptives about who you are as a student from your clerkship directors, from the people who you work with. Um, it also gives information about other academic things fails, passes, step one, step two, if that's available. Those are all things that are in your MSPE letter from your school. Um, and as I said, this is pretty brief because there's not a lot you can say about it. Also, what you do is also what's included in your MSPE or what's used to help narrate your MSPE or your noteworthy characteristics. So what are noteworthy characteristics? Noteworthy characteristics are things about yourself or things that would describe yourself, not just something that you pull out of your CV or resume, but things about yourself that make you unique, make you who you are, and what you feel is important information to convey to someone who is looking at an application to give you a job, honey. you like, pick me, pick me, pick me. So you're not going to be very generic with it. You're going to go out the way and talk about some things that are really dear and core to your heart. These are some things that are going to set you apart from other residents. Whether or not your grades are stellar or horrible, these are characteristic traits about yourself that make somebody want to say, I can work with this person for three to four years or seven years. I can see this person treating my mom or dad. It could be anything, honestly. It's things that you find important. Let's say um, you could put in there how creative you are. And you're going to describe that in two to three or four sentences, however many your school kind of gives you the guidelines for. And you're going to talk about why you're creative. So with your noteworthy characteristics, you just can't be like, one, I'm creative. Two, I'm passionate. Three, I am loving. And leave it at that. No, you got to be like, one, I'm creative. Then you list a slew of things that describe why you're creative. What have you done? Your compassion. What makes you compassionate? What have you done in your life in medical school that people would say, oh my God, this person is so, so compassionate. And you can't just list some things. You actually have to describe them and tell, let people know why you are um, the noteworthy characteristics that you said. So like I said, MSPE is pretty much a summary of who you are as a student and it gives details into your grades, your test scores, and trying to kind of convey also who you are as an overall person. So make sure that you give very, very great noteworthy characteristics to your school. Again, this could be in-person interview, a virtual interview, or it could be just you submitting information on yourself. For me, my school, they want me to provide them with my um, CV. I have to provide them with my personal statement, and I have to provide them with my three noteworthy characteristics, about a paragraph describing each of them. Um, I've talked about your CV in the previous video. Personal statement is very, very detailed. I probably won't get to that until after the um, interview cycle is over. These are things that are just kind of like pertinent to like right here, right now, for me at least. Um, that is it for this video. Like I said, this was a very, very quick and easy video because it is what it is. Um, again, as I said in a previous video, you will hear a hollering child in my background. That is my son. That is my teenage son who is on some type of uh, video thing or whatever. And no, he does not just only do video. He actually does a lot of other stuff. But whenever I seem to record, he wants to be on the video. Anywho, um, yeah, I have to leave that disclaimer in my videos because you're going to hear somebody back. Like, ah, go, go, go. No, don't shoot me. That kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah. But since this video is so quick and to the point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some little pictures um if you've been a og to my channel then you've seen old videos with my little one when she was a baby like would be sitting on the side of the couch while i'm recording or popping in and out when she started moving like she moves but she hasn't been in my videos lately because most of the time when i try to record it's when she's either asleep or at school because she's two so if you don't know what that means she's two she gets into everything she will be jumping in the camera she'd be like hey you know, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to insert some pictures from a recent little road trip that we did. Um, again, I have a teenager. He's at the stage now where he's like, I don't, don't take pictures of me. No, like paparazzi type of thing. So 
I may have one or two of him, but most of them are not going to be of him. And it's only going to be a handful of pictures just to kind of like share with my OG people who've been rocking with me. So yeah, um, I'll try to share some more tips. And again, this is just like information, like just basic stuff. I'm not an expert on the process, obviously, because I'm not, I'm not a doctor yet. But this is just sharing with you what was shared with me and hopefully it can be helpful to somebody else. Again, I'm not an expert. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Make sure you're talking to your school, talking to people who've gone through the process that you know to get the real one-on-one. -on -one. This is just the one-on-one -on -one from basically what I know. So again, I'm sharing with you guys because you know y'all my family, y'all my friends. So um, remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Make sure you smash that like button. Share this video with other people who may not know what an MSP is. Maybe like MSPE. Is that like multiple students experimenting in play? I don't know. I just made that up on the fly. Anyway, but yeah, so join the dream team because, you know, you might as well. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video.